From the Mexican summit that melts glaciers to Washington's 500,000-year-old peak, today we look at the most dangerous volcanoes on Earth. Number 13, Nova Rupta. In 1912, a 60-hour-long eruption occurred on the Alaskan Peninsula, becoming the largest volcanic eruption of the 20th century and giving birth to the Nova Rupta volcano. During this period of eruption, the newly formed volcano released between 3.1 and 3.6 cubic miles of ash into the region, 30 times as much ash as released by the 1980 eruption of Mount St. Helens. While this vast amount of volcanic ash continues to show up in the area, even after more than a century since its last eruption, Nova Rupta remains at normal levels of activity, for now. Number 12. Mount Fuji This 100 millennia year old volcano is a sacred place in Japan as one of the three holy mountains, but it's also an active stratovolcano. Having last erupted in 1707 and 1708, the snow-capped Mount Fuji has been relatively calm in the centuries since. However, in March of 2011, a 6.2-magnitude earthquake just a few kilometers from the southern side of this volcano aroused suspicions in scientists. Research has shown that pressure in Mount Fuji's magma chamber could be higher than it was right before its last eruption. However, the data collected has been considered speculative, unverifiable, and all-around inconclusive as to whether or not another eruption is in the volcano's near future. Number 11. Mount Fusivius In the year 79 AD, a large volcano located just 5.6 miles east of Naples, Italy, erupted in a cataclysmic explosion. It spewed a cloud of ash, stone, and volcanic gases up to 21 miles into the sky, while emitting a steady flow of molten rock and pumice. Over a thousand lives were lost in the catastrophe, and the Roman cities of Stabia, Herculaneum, and most famously Pompeii were utterly annihilated. And it has erupted many times since then. And with a population of 3 million people living within the vicinity of this volcano's eruption radius, it is considered to be one of the most dangerous volcanoes in the world. Number 10. Popocatépetl Once surrounded by glaciers, this stratovolcano located just 43 miles southeast of Mexico City, Mexico, was one of the few peaks in the North American nation to host such frozen formations. But beginning in the 1990s, Popocatépetl began to increase its activity rising in temperature to the point of melting the nearby massive blocks of ice. By 2001, the combined warmth of global climate change and volcanic heat caused the glaciers to melt away entirely, leaving but a fraction of the ice that once covered this peak. In the year 2000, Popocatépetl had its largest eruption of the prior 1200 years. Since then, this volcano has continuously erupted through the 2000s and 2010s. In 2019 alone, it has erupted at least 10 times, filling the skies with ash and clouds, interfering with flights, and raising tensions in the nearby population. Number 9. Galarus Volcano Emerging from the departmental capital of Pasto Nariño in Colombia, at an elevation of 14,029 feet, is the most active volcano of the nation, known as Galarus. This peak has a long-standing history of eruptions dating back to the Spanish conquest, with its first recorded eruption taking place in 1580. Galarus blew its top 10 times in the 20th century, with a decade of dormancy giving Colombian natives a brief break before it returned to activity in 1988. In 1993, though, one of the more unfortunate eruptions occurred when scientists in the city of Pasto decided to mount an impromptu expedition of the volcano's crater. In town, coincidentally, to discuss the most dangerous volcanoes in the world, these scientists found themselves in a most unlucky situation when the Galarus volcano began to erupt while they were at its summit. The sudden explosion resulted in the loss of six scientists and three tourists, while a handful of geologists managed to survive the ordeal. In the 21st century, this volcano has continued to erupt fairly often, causing a number of fatalities along with forcing residents to turn to gas masks and evacuations to survive the ash and gases Galaris emits. Number 8. Mount Pinatubo Notorious for having the second largest terrestrial eruption of the 21st century, this summit is one of the many on the highly volcanic Philippine island of Luzon. On June 15, 1991, Mount Pinatubo ejected ash and volcanic debris across the island nation, while Typhoon Yunyu simultaneously collided with the Asian nation. A fatal combination of rain and ash fell upon nearby townships, causing mass flooding and mud flows to spill across normally populated areas. Luckily, meteorological predictions forewarned the population, and tens of thousands of citizens were able to evacuate before the cataclysmic event. Such an eruption had a ripple effect across the planet, though, 
as mass amounts of minerals and toxic metals entered into the atmosphere and environment. Ozone depletion and a drop in temperature on a global level was traced back to this event. Should a similar eruption occur in the future, it could certainly have devastating effects on the world's climate once more. Number 7. Kalud Volcano Since 1000 AD, over 30 eruptions have come from the Indonesian Kalud Volcano of East Java. Known for explosively emitting lava and hot mudflows, this volcano last erupted in February of 2014 an occurrence that shattered the lava dome, covering its crater, and launching boulders and stones up to 310 miles away. This explosive eruption caused around 76,000 inhabitants to flee their homes, with just three casualties reported from either inhaling ash or having their homes collapse under the weight of the vast amounts of ash. It took just over a week for the volcano's alert status to drop to safe level after which officials calculated damages to the 12,304 buildings affected by the volcanic debris, estimating a cost of around $5.5 million in repairs. Number 6. Mount Hood Just 50 miles outside of Portland, Oregon sits one of the most popular tourist stops for snowboard and ski enthusiasts in the Pacific Northwest. But behind the veneer of cozy log cabins and challenging slopes lies the potentially active stratovolcano of Mount Hood. With an elevation of 11,249 feet above sea level, this frigid mountain is home to a dozen named glaciers and snowfields and holds the honor of being the highest point in the state. Mount Hood hasn't had even a minor eruption since August of 1907, so many are quick to consider the summit as being dormant. However, in the last three decades, factors like earthquake swarms and the emittance of fuma rolls have kept scientists from ruling out a future eruption. The mountain maintains a population of less than 300. However, its role in the snow sport industry draws tourists annually, which could pose an issue should this volcano ever actually explode. Number 5. Mayan Volcano Currently nominated to become a World Heritage Site, the Mayan Volcano is a worshipped natural landmark of the Philippines. Locals of this region on the island of Luzon praise the mountain and hold a number of festivals and rituals in its proximity, as well as in its honor. But Mayan Volcano has a long history of recorded eruptions dating back to 1814. The last time the volcano threatened the island population came in 2018 when it began erupting mid-January. The volcanic activity continued through February and eased up in March. However, as lava bombs, plumes of ash, and dangerous steam and rocks fell across the area, over 40,000 residents were left displaced and attempts to evacuate. Throughout the rest of 2018, Mayan Volcano sporadically continued to show some activity, but at low doses, leaving local officials cautiously optimistic moving forward. Number 4. Mount Agung Marking the highest point in all of the Indonesian province of Bali is the stratovolcano known commonly as Mount Agung. At 9,944 feet above sea level, this peak towers over the rest of the island with a near-perfect cone shape blanketed in clouds. Since 2017, this active volcano has been erupting periodically while emitting seismic activity regularly. In 2017 alone, seismologists recorded 844 volcanic earthquakes radiating from Mount Sagum. Eruptions in November of 2017 proved especially scary, causing the immediate evacuation of tens of thousands of local people as ash filled the air and glowing magma could be seen on the mountainside. But by December, it had seemed to calm down quite a bit. The last eruption of Mount Agung occurred in May of 2019, when lava and volcanic rock rained up to 1.86 miles away from the mountain, spilling ash on nearby villages and putting a temporary halt to international flights. Number 3. Ta'al Volcano The Ta'al Volcano is believed to have a casualty count between 5 and 6,000 people to date from its 33 recorded eruptions throughout history. Despite this statistic, the area around this complex volcano remains highly populated, sparking concerns about future natural disasters. One of the many Philippine volcanoes to form the Pacific Ring of Fire, Taal is located 31 miles south of Manila, the nation's capital. It only reaches an elevation of 1,020 feet above sea level, but that doesn't detract from the past dangers this summit has shown to exude. In addition to posing great danger to the locals who settle on the island of Luzon, Ta'al Volcano is also notable for hosting a lake which features another isle called Volcano Island within it, which has both another lake and island in its center as well. Number 2. Mount Rainier Within the forest of Washington's Mount Rainier National Park rises the volcano of its namesake, stretching to an elevation of 14,411 feet above sea level. 
This 500,000-year-old summit contains a massive amount of glacial ice, making it susceptible to producing hazardous mud flow filled with rocky debris and pyroclastic components, known geologically as lahar. Such dangerous material can prove catastrophic to the public, and Mount Rainier is within range of nearly 80,000 people, making this volcano one of the most dangerous both in the U.S. and in the world. Not only would an eruption of Mount Rainier threaten the well-being of all those in the region, but also it could affect the entire west coast as volcanic ash would enter the atmosphere. Though it's been over a century since the last time this volcano erupted, seismic activity has been observed in the past decade, and there are a number of alarm systems in place to warn the public just in case. Number 1. Campi Flegre Located in Naples, Italy, this supervolcano hosts 24 craters, 150 pools of boiling mud, and many steam-emitting fumaroles along the Italian coastline. At its peak, Campi Flegra reaches an elevation of 1,503 feet above sea level, and the rocks of this volcanic formation date back 40,000 years. While it hasn't erupted since 1538, this European supervolcano has shown high activity in the past three years. In August of 2017, built-up energy released in the form of a magnitude 4 earthquake, resulting in multiple injuries and two fatalities on the island of Ischia. 